All right, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the Social Security lump sum payout check and all the details you may need to know, including who can get it, how much it could possibly be, how to become eligible, and anything else you may need to know. I have all the information for you right here in the video. Let's get into it and discuss what's going on. All right, now first off, have you heard about the Social Security lump sum payout? If you haven't, it is a real thing and some people are eligible to receive this. Now, full disclaimer, no, not everybody is eligible to receive this, but some people are, and the dollar amounts of this lump sum payment can be in the thousands upon thousands of dollars. It's a lot of money, life-changing money for some people, and I want to break down the details of this. Like I said at the beginning of the video, who can get this? How do you become eligible? How much could it possibly be? As well as all the other details you may need to know about this lump sum payout, because yes, it is a real thing. There's a lot of people out there that have have gotten these things and still continue to be offered these lump sum payouts. So I do want to bring this to your attention and again, break down all the details for you. I'm also going to be talking about some other benefits here in this video that also have lump sum payouts as well. There's a bunch of different benefits out there administered by Social Security that do offer these types of payments. Either way, let's get into it and talk about all the information and I'll break down everything you need to know. However, really fast before we do, can I ask a huge, huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet or if you happen to be new here, first off, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly do appreciate it. Will you please make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button right down below the video only if you haven't done so yet. Thank you. I truly do appreciate it. Just want to do whatever I possibly can to help you out in any way that I possibly can. I'm watching all the headlines, doing the research, advocating on your behalf, answering questions, watching anything popping up right now you can possibly grab or take advantage of like money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, programs, stimulus, monthly checks, anything else like that. Again, I'm watching it all and bringing it to your attention in these short videos every single day as I have been for several years now. So again, thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so. And feel free to share the video with your friends on my social media. There's a share button right down below as well. Thank you, truly appreciate it. All right, let's get into it and talk about the lump sum. Sounds pretty nice, right? I totally agree with you. If somebody could get a lump sum payment of thousands upon thousands of dollars, I'm not sure about you, but um, I want to know, right? <laughs> Sign me up. I'm super excited about it. I want to know what can I do to get a piece of this, stuff, right? So anyway, let me share with you exactly what this is about. So generally, and again, what I'm mostly focusing on here in this video is Social Security retirement beneficiaries, okay? So if you are a Social Security retirement beneficiary, um, this is talking about you, okay? Now, if you have not filed for benefits yet, well then you still probably wanna hear about this, okay? Because this may be right down your alley, okay? Now, if you are a social security disability, as in SSDI or SSI beneficiary, or if you not filed for benefits yet, or you're waiting for uh, your benefits to be approved, well then, you still may want to listen to this because this still has a lot to do with you and your monthly benefit because believe it or not, even though I'm talking about retirement here in this video, um, there's a lot of uh, beneficiaries out there or potential future beneficiaries who receive or are going to receive retire uh, a disability or SSI who can also get a lump sum payment. But again, we'll have to see about that, okay? I'm getting excited here. I'm, I'm warming up my hands for a good old feast, right? I'm talking about the lump sum. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So anyway, my point is, let me show, uh, break down all the details for you. So first off, we need to understand what is your full retirement age? Okay, this is a big one. This is a very, very big one. If we don't know what your full retirement age is, um, well, that's the big first thing we need to figure out, okay? So first off, here's what it comes down to. Your full retirement age is based on the year of birth. If you're born in 1954, full retirement age is 66. And basically we add two months to your full retirement age for every year born after 1954, all the way out until the eight, or to the, the birth, uh, sorry, the birth year of 1960. Anybody born in 1960 or later, your full, sorry, your full retirement age is uh, 67. Okay, that's what it comes down to right now. Now, they might be changing this, but this is the law as of right now, and this is the reality of this, okay? So, uh, with that being said, okay, so now that we understand what your full retirement age is, now we need to understand next is, have you already filed for benefits? If you have, well, then the lump sum payout is probably not uh, eligible for you anymore. However, if you've not filed for your benefit yet and you're still waiting, well, now the gravy train may be starting to run, okay? So here's what it comes down to. If you have not filed for your Social Security benefit yet, as in retirement benefit, here's what happens. If you wait until after your full retirement age, okay, 
your benefits start to accumulate uh, raises. On a monthly basis, your benefits continue to raise or increase for every one month that you wait after your full retirement age. Um, basically, after your full retirement age, for every one month that you wait, your benefits will start to increase and start to accumulate a little bit of a raise. Now, here's what it comes down to. The raise is 8% per, uh, per year or 0.667% per month for every one month that you wait after your full retirement age, okay? This is very important to pay attention to. I'm gonna say it again really quickly. Your benefits uh, accumulate a little bit of a raise, a 0.667% increase for every one month that you wait after your full retirement age, okay? So if your full retirement age is say 66, something like this, okay? So you've waited, so let's just say a year after your full retirement age, well now your benefits have increased by 8%, right? Okay. I'm just using this as an example here. But my point is that that late percent raise that you are locking in for every one month that you, uh, sorry, for every one year that you wait after your full retirement age, this is great. This is nice. Okay. Now, this is kind of where the lump sum payment comes in. Okay. Now, if you've not filed for your benefit yet and you are planning to file for your benefit, if you file for your benefit, let's just say, six months after your full retirement date. So you've accumulated a 4% effective raise. Not bad, right? I like it. This is great. This is really, really cool, okay? So you've implemented this 4% increase because of your waiting on your full retirement age or beyond your full retirement age, okay? So now your benefits have increased by that 4%. Not bad. Here is where the potential uh, lump sum payment may come in. So when you file for your benefit, Social Security may, may offer you a lump sum payout. Now, what is this? Is this them being nice? No. Is this them um, giving you some bonus? No. Is this them rewarding you for waiting? No. Basically, all they're doing is they're offering you basically six months. This is what they'll do. They can pay up to six months in the form of a lump sum payment. They can offer potentially up to six months worth of back payment in the form of a lump sum one-time payout uh, for the six months that you have delayed waiting on your monthly benefit um, if you want to, okay? So let me give you a quick example. Let's just say that your uh, monthly benefit check is $1,000, okay? You've waited six months. This is six months or six months worth of payments. That is $6,000 that they would offer you. Again, this is just a hypothetical example here that I'm giving. This is not going to be the case for everybody. It's going to be different for everybody. But in this case, they're offering a $6,000 one-time payment in exchange for basically the raise that you have accumulated during that time, right? So does that kind of make sense? So if you were to deny the six the the lump sum payment and deny that six thousand dollars again in this hypothetical example right here, you deny the six month uh, lump sum payment, then you could say no. You could still get that four percent raise to your monthly benefit, which by the way is permanent forever. You will continue to get that higher benefit if you deny the lump sum payment. But remember, if you were to take that lump sum payment from Social Security and you say, sure, I'll take that six grand right here, right now today, right? Again, this is assuming a $1,000 monthly benefit. If you uh, take that lump sum payment, then guess what? You then would forfeit also the extra 4% increase that you've accumulated during that time that you've gone through with waiting. Now, this is on a $1,000 a month benefit. Let's just say that your benefit is a $2,000 a month benefit, okay? If you've waited six months and a $2,000 a month benefit, now your benefit and the potential lump sum would be $12,000, $2,000, $2,000, by six months, right? So six months, <laughs> I was gonna, that, does, that looks weird, right? Let's do this, six months, right? <laughs> so six months you've waited and your benefit is $2,000. Now you could potentially be looking at a $12,000 monthly uh, lump sum payment in this case right here. But again, forfeiting the extra 4% raise that you've accumulated during that six months that you've delayed by increasing by 0.667% per month for basically that six month period of time. Does that kind of make sense? So this is where the potential lump sum payment comes in. So yes, it is a real thing, okay? It's not like, you know, people saying, oh, this is a fake thing, it's not real. No, it definitely is. It's just not eligible for everybody. There's not that many people that wait until their full retirement age to uh, file for the benefit. There's just not that many. Statistically, about two thirds of the beneficiary file for the benefit prior to the full retirement age. Only about 24% of people actually wait until their full retirement age. About 10% of people, according to the statistics, wait until the age of 70 to file for the benefit. Now, I'm not saying that you need to wait until 70. You can, if you want to. You'll increase your benefits by potentially about 24% if you wait until 70. 
that's a massive increase, right? But even if you just wait a simple six months afterward, you would implement a 4% raise to your benefit. Or if you're offered the lump sum payment, well, then you can grab it. You can potentially grab that lump sum payment and um, forfeit the extra raise as well. Does that kind of make sense? So this is who this applies to. It is Social Security retirement beneficiaries who have not filed for their benefit quite yet. But when you go ahead and file, again, I'm not telling you when you should or should not file. That's totally up to you. I don't know your situation. Everybody's filing year and time lane is um, very, very different. Some people should file early. Some people should file late. Some people should file in the middle. But my point is, when you go ahead and you grab the um, the your monthly benefit, when you go ahead and you file for your benefit check and you uh, go ahead and, and do that, Again, if you want to wait after your full retirement age, this is where you could potentially lock in an extra raise or possibly be offered a lump sum payout, okay? That's what it comes down to. That is where the lump sum is offered. Again, totally up to everybody. If you wanna wait and potentially be eligible for it, it's fine, but if you don't want to, it doesn't really matter, okay? Remember, the lump sum is not, it's not some bonus, it's not some free money, it's not some, uh, extra, you know, congratulations, you've waited kind of payment. No, it's actually uh, in the best interest of Social Security to offer this for you because they're not offering that extra 4%, which over long periods of time may actually pay out quite a bit more, like thousands of dollars more over long periods of time through the rest of your life, okay? So it's actually in their benefit to offer you a lump sum, even though it sounds like, wow, this is a lot of money they're just offering me at one time. It's in their best interest. That's why they do it, okay? Remember, you always got to think what's in it for the house, right? <laughs> You're playing against the house. What's in it for the house? The house is always trying to win, right? Every time. My point is, not saying it's a bad thing. It's actually pretty cool for people that don't realize this and say, wow, I could get this huge payment, this huge chunk of money here really quickly. Yeah, this is available. Now, here's the thing as well. If you're an SSDI, an SSI person, um, you know, somebody that's waiting on these benefits, or if you've applied and you've not gotten your benefit yet, believe it or not, there are retroactive back payment lump sum payments for SSDI and SSI as well, but those are also very different than what I'm talking about here in this video. I can make dedicated videos talking about those. Let me know down below in the comment section if you'd like me to, otherwise I can just automatically do that as well. I can make those, but yes, there are uh, lump sum payments for other beneficiaries as well. But if you're already receiving those benefit checks, then no, there's not gonna be a lump sum payment. But if you file for your application, if you become disabled and you are, you know, uh, 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 sending in an application for SSDI or SSI, well, now we need to start talking because this is the situation in which you may be eligible for a big lump sum payment that could be thousands upon thousands of dollars for some people. Anyway, we can talk about that in a separate video. Does that make, all make sense for you? Anyway, as always, please leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. Uh, subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. Uh, check out some of the thousands of videos here on the channel, including those down below in the description at the top of the comment section. Or right now, popping up on your screen, you'll see some videos there as well. So take your selection now. Enjoy your day. Take care. Hope this helps you to some degree to understand what's going on here. And 